Hello everybody, welcome to Whack, uh, fucking Whack Comics. I'm here today to show you how much of a Jeff Lemire fan I actually am. I've got all these fucking hardcovers and trade paperbacks laid out. I want to show you everything, go through it all. You, you've seen my Royal City slab before. Uh, you know how much I fucking love Royal City. You've seen my, my Plutona slab that Tyler sent me, maybe, if, you, if you've watched a couple of videos on this channel. But I've also got this little, this little cool thing too. It's the original art by Emmy Lennox. The, the artist of Plutona, and I've also got a, a shitload of hard hardbacks and uh, trade paperbacks that I'm going to go through, and I'm going to show you publisher by publisher what I've got. So stay tuned if that's something you want to see. First up, we're going to go with some smaller publishers and uh, Vertigo. So this is uh, Top Shelf. This is his uh, first printed work, actually, self-published work that Lemire did. Lost Dogs. Um, it's a short short read. Really rough art, but just beautiful stuff. Um, you could tell straight away where he was going with his career, and he was going to make me cry every time, which he surely does. Next up is Essex County. Uh, this is uh, by Top Shelf also, and this is uh, a beautiful trilogy of stories in here. I fucking I love this. This this one made me cry. I'm gonna I'm gonna. I'm just going to stop the, saying that they made me cry, because you can just assume that they all made me cry. we got Frog Catchers. It's a short graphic novel. Super beautiful, super sad. An Underwater Welder. This one is... This one's right up there for me. It's, uh, this one pulls on all the high strings. And it has a really cool concept. Next up is Roughneck by. Who's this one by? Published by Gallery 13. There you go. Um, it has that cool bluish blue vibe to it that's really cool and emotional. This one's really cool. I'm not even a fan of hockey, but I love this. It's uh, strongly about hockey. The Nobody. Um, this this isn't a great copy. I, I found this as a like an ex library copy. If I can find a better copy, that'd be great. But it's it's a it's a copy nonetheless. Trillium is next, and uh, I fucking love Trillium. Trillium is 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 great too. It's a a love beautiful love story. Can you get a look at that? There you go, have a fucking gaze. Next up is Sweet Tooth. Uh, fucking, this is coming to a show, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, the Sweet Tooth Return is out at the moment in single issues, and you, you best believe I'm reading that. I've got a bunch of single issues, I just thought I'd show you uh, my hardcovers and stuff for today, because it's going to be a long enough video, as it is. So that's volume uh, book two, and book three. There's also Sentient by TKO. This is a fucking oversized. If you can, you can tell by like the, this trade how oversized it is. Um, it's fucking good read. Uh, it's beautiful art. Some epic sci-fi shit. Next up, we'll go to this big stack of DC. We got two hard covers. It's like two volumes. Uh, issue zero to. 11, no, 0 to 10, and then a Future's End one shot. So the first volume, and the second volume, two volumes of um, Frankenstein and Agents of Shade. Uh, I found all the singles for this in a um, whole, whole video that I did. I tore, what is it, fucking, I don't know. I'll, I'll link the video up here if you want to fucking watch it. It's one of those videos. Next up is Animal Man. And I fucking love Animal Man so much. Uh, Lumiere's run on Animal Man. I love all, all five volumes so much that I, I went, I had to go. You can probably guess it already because you can see it right here. I had to double dip for that omnibus. Yeah. And um, I'm gonna give these a. Uh, I'm gonna give these to one of my mates. But I'm gonna keep this to myself. Next up is Superboy. This was. Um, Lemire's first work in continuity for DC. Um, this run, Superboy, is uh, 11 issues, I think it is. 
But yeah, it's a. Uh, it's alright. The Terrifics, the best Fantastic Four book ever. I fucking love the Terrifics. I'm not even kidding you. This is the best Fantastic Four book ever. And it's by DC and Jeff Lemire. I wish he stayed on the title. He jumped off because they couldn't give him a consistent artist and it's sad. But uh, Earth, Earth 1 um, is great. Teen, uh, Teen Titans, Earth 1. There's the two volumes of that. Hopefully he does the third, ties it up. He did a volume on Constantine. Fucking good. Did some shit in Trinity War. I think he did the Justice League Dark. That's one thing I'm missing from his DC stuff, is just like that. I'll get it eventually. Next up is the Green Arrow hardcover. Fucking love this run. Um, Sorrentino and um, Lemire are a dream team. Talking about Sorrentino and Lemire being a dream team. Some, some Joker. And we got the question. Let's go Marvel next. Uh, Moon Knight. He did uh, five volumes on Moon Knight, uh, three, <clears throat> three volumes on Moon Knight, and I just showed him to you backwards, that's one, two, and three, uh, total of 14 issues, this is fucking great stuff, um, if, you, if you're only going to read one Lemire uh, Marvel title, you should, it should probably be this one. Next up is Century, uh, this was a mini-series, just fucking five issues, fucking good shit though. Two volumes on Thanos, 12 issues. And then, and then uh, Donny Cates came and did some magic as well, but I, I absolutely love um, Lumiere's run. Uh, Old Man Logan, uh, this was a fucking amazing run too. Uh, more Sor Sorrentino, Jeff Lemire, goodness, just a fucking amazing creative team. The f five volumes of that. And it was going along the same time as um, his Extraordinary X-Men run, uh, which had, also has four, that has four volumes. And 20 issues, and then there's Hawkeye, with his 11 issues on Hawkeye. Next up, we're going to do some the Valiant, some Valiant stuff. He did the Valiant with uh, Matt Kent. They're fucking an awesome um, collaborative team when they get together as well. And also got the Deluxe, Deluxe Editions, Volume 2 and Volume 1. Volume 1 and Volume 2. Uh, on a serious note, this, this is fucking beautiful. This is a record. Um, he did with, uh, what is it, Gord Downey. Gord Downey did the music, Jeff Lemire did the art. And it's, it's fucking beautiful. Maybe I should do a, like a whole video on this sometimes because it, it, it deserves its own thing because there's so much shit in here that it's just beautiful. We'll do Dark Horse comics. Berserker, yeah, Berserker Unbound. This was fucking great. Uh, the same artist from his run on Thanos and fucking, holy shit. Um, like a Berserk dude. You know, from like those those times comes to to our times. I don't know. It's fucking good. All right, shut up. This is all Black Hammer. I fucking love Black Hammer so much. This is a, a crazy world that Lemire is building. So the first two volumes here, and then it sort of relaunched under uh, was it Age of Doom? Uh, three volume three and four. Fucking amazing. And then uh, we've got a bunch of spin-offs. Uh, what's this? Sherlock and Frankenstein. Sherlock Frankenstein. Fucking... This one's a sad one. Beautiful art though. D uh, David Rubin on art. Uh, fucking great stuff. Next up is Dr. Star. Uh, this one has fucking probably made me cry more than anything on this table. Fuck this, fuck this comic. The Quantum Age. Black Hammer 45, this one's fucking awesome, it's got some Matt Kent art with like these huge Russian mech suits, fucking crazy, crazy stuff. Black Hammer Streets of Spiral, uh, collects like the encyclopedia and a couple of one-shot things and uh, stuff like that, it's really fucking awesome, really fucking awesome issue. This, this, holy shit, this, this was fucking fun, okay, this was fun. Um, Justice League, um, Justice League Black Hammer, this was fucking, this was fucking fun. Because uh, I'm a sucker and double dip, uh, this is the library edition for Black Hammer 1, 
and Black Hammer 2, but I probably won't be giving any of these away because I fucking, Black Hammer is my jam, I fucking love it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it all. Alright, we're coming towards the end, last publisher, Image, fucking, we got these three oversides issues, these things here, this is um, 80 After Death, um, Scott Snyder wrote this, and Lumia drew it, there's a nice big hardcover of it too, but um, pretty text heavy but beautiful art. Up is the Plutona hardcover, it says uh, fucking signed by Emmy Lennox on the inside. Up is Gideon Falls, we've got five volumes of Gideon Falls so far, that it just, it's wrapping up, six volumes coming out soon. And I'm probably going to fucking be a sucker and double dip for the hardcover if it comes out and... I don't know. I'll probably, probably wouldn't be too upset about giving the trades away if it gets a hardcover. And then it's a sender. I fucking love a sender, if you can't tell. I've got like pillows and fucking shirts and... All six hard... Uh, all six trade paperbacks. And I have... Both the fucking hardcovers. Because the fucking Ascender's been great too. I've been reading it in singles and I'm also picking up the, the trades because I just love um, Nguyen's, Nguyen's art. I could fucking flick through this shit every day. Next up we got Family Tree. This has fucking been great. Um, beautiful art, a compelling story, fucking Family Tree. Hit Girl in Canada. She says fuck you Canada. Next up is uh, Royal City. We started with Royal City and we're gonna fucking end with Royal City. Oh, look at that. We've got all three volumes of Royal City and the hardcover. Because I double dip. You know, and I'm, I'm trying to be better about if I'm gonna double dip, then I should at least get rid of the, the trade, you know, something like that. So, what I wanna do as a thank you to you if you've made it this far, fucking, I'm gonna give away this. This trade paperback of the Plutona. One of my favourite Jeff Lemire stories. This was the one that got me hooked on um, Jeff Lemire. So, if you made it this far in the video, comment down below, Plutona sounds alright. Alright? So, comment down below, Plutona sounds alright, and I'll, I'll get you in a chance to, to give this away. Okay? But yeah, that's my fucking huge Lemire collection.